The name best evidence rule is misleading because the rule doesn't say that the best or most probative evidence must be produced in every case. What the rule actually says is that the original of a writing, recording, or photograph must be produced to prove whatever is said or pictured in it. The Ninth Circuit considered whether a Border Patrol agent's testimony violated the best evidence rule in United States versus Diaz-Lopez. Native-born Mexican citizen Luis Diaz-Lopez was walking along a road in California when a Border Patrol agent found and arrested him. The government charged Diaz with being a removed alien found in the United States without permission. At the bench trial, the government introduced testimony from another Border Patrol agent stating that the agent had performed a search of the Computer-Linked Application Information Management System, or CLAIMS, database. The agent said that he used Diaz's name, alien number, and date of birth to complete the search, but found no record of a Form I-212 filed by Diaz. Form I-212 is the application for permission to reapply for admission into the United States after deportation or removal. The district court found Diaz guilty and sentenced him to 21 months in prison and three years of supervised release. Diaz appealed to the Ninth Circuit, arguing that the district court erred by admitting the agent's testimony about the results of the claims database search. Specifically, Diaz argued that the testimony violated the best evidence rule as codified in Federal Rule of Evidence 1002 because it was offered without production of an original printout showing the search results.